hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is tola if you're coming across my video for the first time please do well to like share and subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always stopping by in this particular tutorial i'll be making this beautiful bustier top if this is what you're interested in learning please sit back relax and let's get straight into the video Firstly, we are going to be ruling the lines necessary for our basic bodies and that's, that is going to be our chest line, our bust line, under bust line and our waist line which is also our full front line. For our chest line, we will be using our bust measurements divided by 6 plus 2 and then my bust line is going to be 10 inch, under bust 14 and my full front length which is also my half cut is 16.5. And so I'm going to just be ruling this straight line across. After ruling the line, I'll just go ahead and label my lines, which is chest line, bust point, under bust, and waist line. So the next thing to do is to take our neck measurement, which is 3 by 3 inch for this particular basic bodies pattern. So I'm just going to be using my curve rule to blend that. So next, I'll take my shoulder measurement, which is 7, and I'm going to go down by 1. So I'm also going to take that measurement on my chest line, so I can have a straight line from the chest line to the shoulder measurement. So right after that, I'll look for the midpoint between that, and then I'll go in by... 0.5 inch and then i'll use my curve rule to blend so the next thing i'll do is to take my bust span divide by two on my waistline my under bust and also my bust points my bust span divided by two is four that's eight divided by four so i'm going to be ruling that straight line across and then i'll go on both sides by one inch i'll connect with a straight line and then i'll use my curve rule to blend to meet my bust point just like you can see i'm doing in the video so the next thing i'll go ahead and do is to look for the midpoint of my shoulder slope and then i'll just be using a straight rule to connect it to my bust point so after that i'm going to be taking my bust radius around which is four inch that's bust band divided by two so i'm going to just be taking that across to form like a circle so after that on the midpoint line i'm going to be going both sides by one inch and i'm just going to be using my straight rule to connect to meet my bust point so the next thing we just have to do at this point is to use our curve rule to form our neckline so this is basically depending on the kind of neckline you want you might just want to create like a sweet at neckline or a straight leg line then you blend the other arm all side for it to form a very perfect blend the next thing is we're just going to be taking our measurements divide by four for me my, my bust measurement is 38 divide by four 9.5 so i'm going to be replacing the dotted place which is one inch as you can see and i'm going to be adding one inch allowance i'll do the same thing with my waist divide by four my waist circumference divide by four I will replace the dart measurement and I will also add one inch as my allowance, stitching allowance. So after blending to form a perfect blend for the front piece, the next thing to do is to take our bust dart which is 2 inch. The reason for the bust dart is because the difference between the full front length which is the half cut in front and the back is 2 inch. So you just have to take that out and then use your cell tape to close it down. So we'll just go ahead and remove the dart and then cut the parts that we need for the front part of the bust here. 
so guys as you can see we have the two pieces we need for our front part we'll just go ahead and draft for the back so for the back we'll just go ahead and take the necessary lines needed to draft the bodies for the back so after ruling out our border line we're just going to take our chest line and then our our nape to waist which is our full front line at the back which is like our half cut at the back so we're taking our chest line our bust point and then our half cut for the back which is also called the nip to waist so we're just going to be ruling a straight line ahead. Now the next thing to do is to take our neck measurement which is 3 inch by 1 inch for the back and I'm just going to be using my curve rule to blend that. After that, we we'll go ahead and take our shoulder measurement, which is seven, and then we'll do the same thing by going down by one inch to get our slope, and then we'll connect to meet the neck point. We we'll also take our shoulder measurement on our chest line for us to get the straight line down to the chest line. So after that, we we'll look for the midpoint of that particular line. And then we're just going to be using our cover to form like a blend around that part. So we're just going to go ahead to form our back dart, which is our bust span divided by 2, which is 4. And then we're going to be drawing a straight line. We're going to be darting it by 0 0.5 inch on both sides. And we're just going to connect to meet the line, the chest line. So the next thing we're just going to be doing is to take our bust measurement divided by 4. Going to be adding one inch allowance and we're just going to be drawing a straight line ahead at that part so the next thing we're going to do is to create like curve in case we don't want it to be straight that's particularly depending on what you want at the back of your bust here then i'm just going to cut that out guys as you can see i'm doing in the video i also went ahead to close my dart and as you can see i'm done cutting both the front and the back part so guys i've gone ahead to cut it out on my fabric i've also cut the same thing for the lining because i'm going to be using the same fabric also to line it the next thing to do is just to join the three pieces of the front together for us to get the front part of the bust here and i'll just go ahead on my sewing machine to join that as you can see i'm done joining it the next thing to do is to join the two sides of the back to the two sides of the front so that's the two pieces of the back to the side of the front and the other side of the front as you can see i'm illustrating in this video so i'll just go ahead on my sewing machine and join that together so guys as you can see i've joined that together i've joined that together so i have a complete front piece i've actually gone ahead to do the same thing for my lining also because i'm going to be using the lining to turn it so i've actually gone ahead to create like a piece two pieces that seem to stand as a strap for the bust here and this is 14 inches strap by 1.5 inches so it's either you sew it like this or you sew it straight and then look for something to turn it outwards for you to have like a perfect strap so i'll just go ahead and sew that on my sewing machine so i'm going to be fixing the strap at this point of the bust here and then for the back strap i'm going to be taking two inches inward three inches inward sorry and i'm going to be pinning that out for you to see as you can see that i'm doing in the video
So since it's not going to be like a zipper bust here, I'll go ahead and create another strap that I'm going to be using for the loop. I've gone ahead to cut them into pieces, so I'm just going to be pinning them down as you can see. So the next thing to do is to take my lining, place it on the actual front piece, and I'm just going to be sewing around it because after sewing around it, I'll go ahead and turn it outward so we don't have any place looking like it is being stitched roughly outside the bustier. That's like the front face of the bustier. So after losing this out, that's the lining part. I'm just going to turn everything out using that part. And then I'll just go ahead and iron it perfectly for you to see what it is looking like. So guys, that will be all for the bustier tutorial. This is how beautiful it is looking like. So I'll just go ahead and iron it out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do well to like, share and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Drop the comments of the kind of video you love to see on this channel. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.